Hello, this is Charting Man Dan of The Chart Guys, where we teach the little guy and girl how to utilize charts to manage their own trades and investments. What do I mean by the little guy and girl? Well, we just had two directives signed halting the implementation of a rule that requires financial advisors to act in the best interests of their client. Let that sink in a little bit. The big wigs on Wall Street can play with your retirement and hard-earned money without your best interests at heart. We currently have hundreds of members taking charge of their financial future, and we would love for you to come check out a free week with no credit card required to see if our services would be beneficial on your path to financial independence as well. What we offer, we have a separate course of over five hours in length on when to enter and exit positions. And in terms of what we do daily, we have nightly videos, key levels updated each morning before the bell, two and a half hours of live daily web webcam coverage in the morning and in the afternoon, and over seven hours of educational videos. All of these links can be found in the description of this video. Come check us out. Thanks for watching. Let's get on to the technical analysis. Hello everyone, checking back in on natural gas. So we still have a lower high pattern to be watching on the hourly time frame. Most recently we saw a bounce attempt get up to 2953, hit a lower low. Now another bounce attempt, still a lower high unless we can break 2953. And we are seeing an upper wick of profit taking on the current candlestick. So the bears are still in control of the hourly trend. Bulls have to break the lower high pattern to give any kind of conviction to the upside. But we are seeing that bullish reversal candlestick that I was expecting heading into today due to the oversold hourly and four hour RSI levels. So we have a bullish reversal candlestick today on the four hour chart. We did not confirm it. Now we have another bullish reversal candlestick on the four hour chart. And if we do confirm it, we're going to see a bullish MACD cross. Last time we had a bullish MACD cross, we saw multiple green four hour candlesticks in a row. So keep an eye on that. And it actually just formed. It does appear as I'm talking. So now we have that bullish MACD cross right there. Need to see a break of 2953. So we've got the daily time frame bullish reversal candlestick after three big red days in a row. And we'll see if the bulls can confirm that candlestick by seeing that break of 2953 and some follow through to the upside. So again, just anticipating a short term oversold bounce. I fully anticipate a lower high compared to 3189 unless we see a big time surprise for the bulls on the inventory report on thursday i would expect a lower high to form on this daily chart bounce we'll be watching the 10-day moving average resistance which rejected the last bounce attempt that is currently going to be just below three dollars as we it's going to be right at three dollars tomorrow so natural gas bears still in control but an oversold bounce is underway bullish reversal candlestick on the daily time frame for ung we did drop down to lower lows the support back here from november 720 and we bounced off 725 today so we need confirmation 740 and 750 are resistances if we get confirmation and a nice green day tomorrow we will be looking for that short-term bounce to play out looking at the weekly time frame bulls need to see a rally here at the end of the week or for the rest of the week and we need to see a close I would say 740 or better to be a bullish reversal candlestick on the weekly time frame and it is still a higher low compared to the last big time dump we had 685 must form a higher low compared to that level and try and see continuation back up to the upper seven dollar range natural gas bulls are in trouble their backs are against the ropes here and they're going to have to see a change of the daily trend which is lower highs and lower lows we look at the weekly time frame trying to see that bullish reversal hammer on the weekly and for natural gas we're going to have to close roughly let's say 295 or better by the end of this week to see a bullish reversal hammer and that's just step one we have to confirm it next week as well we have not seen two green weeks in a row on natural gas since back at the end of november and the start of december it's been red green red back and forth time and time again since then but the bear is very clearly on top of that pattern so that's what we're looking at heading into tomorrow the inventory report will be very interesting i do anticipate this oversold bounce to play out a little bit more tomorrow perhaps a back test of three dollar resistance We've got 2994 as resistance after 2953. And of course, support is the lowest price we see we saw here of 2887. So that's what we've got. I appreciate you watching. Happy Valentine's Day. If you're all alone on Valentine's Day, you don't have to sit around and pout. You can curl up by the fire, get some charts out, and charts will always be there for you. They'll keep you company and they'll keep you warm. And if you're feeling lonely, charts are your friend. So thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.